I welcome today for the third uh, review of the military units. So they will be ranged units. So which is a range infantry and range cavalry, which is very is the smallest of all the six unit type. As usual, we go into the handbook, and for once, <clears throat> the best unit for range infantry in my view is a regular, is a musketeer, not a mercenary unit. The musketeer have a combined attack defense score of 183, the highest among all the range, and an attack of 93, which is very high, but not the highest, but the best defense, which is the, normally the soft spot of the range units. It gives a damage amplifier of 15%, which is also the highest, and no additional uh, skills because it's irregular. Number two, we go back into the mercenaries, and it is the Dragon Cavalry. It's, the spider is no horse, it's called Cavalry. <coughs> dragon Cavalry, they have a total score of 159, <coughs> so 24 uh, uh, units below the Musketeer, big difference. Attack slightly better, 99. Very weak defense, 30 points below at 60. They are slightly faster, a mobility of 10. They have the same damage multiplier of 15%. And um, they have uh, two skills, though, that the musketeer don't have. A bonus when you are in the forest, which I don't think is very valuable. But they have this skill, which is a bit mysterious. The sniper always deals the highest damage, except in human conditions. Now, their interval is 94-104. What does it mean? It's always 104. Something... Sometimes they are not very clear in this explanation. Number three, Conquistador Infantry, also is a level six unit. He has uh, the same score, 159, with better attack and worse defense. Slightly slower, and nine. He also gives a 15% damage. He has the same forest mobility. And is a uh, more resilient, so the morale damage is reduced by 50%. So these two units, number two and number three, are very close to each other. Depends if you value this cryptic always the highest damage or the moral damage reduction. Number four for me is the Genoese Crossbow Militia from Genova. 149 total score and 99 attack, 12% um, damage multiplier. And as a other skill, ignore 15% of the defenses and the mountain. If you are a mountain, you don't get the penalty of mobility. And by the way, as a reminder, every military type is best against some. In this case, for a range, their best victims are the counter infantry with their long poles, little for cavalry, but very sitting ducks for archery. So when you have a, a ranger unit pointed against counter infantry and melee cavalry, also they have a small sword, so they cannot uh, counter attack properly. And that's why when uh, you are in battle, if your unit is uh, counter infantry, you need to put the gear which reduce archery damage because that's the one you get the most. Okay? So generous militia. Number five, it's another regular unit. We go back to England, which has normally most of the units. And these are the <coughs> elite archers. The elite archers, they have a combined score of 158, which is higher than uh, actually the Genoese militia, but the mercenary have the skills, which I have put a value on. Also, their attack is weaker. An attack only 78, better defense, the second best defense in the game. So particularly if the role is to defend the city, they may be a better unit to choose. Their damage given to those uh, to the melee cover in the country for is only 10% extra, and no skills like any regular army. Number six, back to mercenary world, is the long bowman, which in theory should be an English unit, and a wise mercenary. Longbowmen, they have an attack 
on average only at 131 the attack defense score, but a very high attack, 91, as big as the musketeer actually, with a non-existent defense, purely only at 40. They also have a 15% extra damage to those units. They have the forest bonus, and the, the attack unit will lose a mobility point. So not too bad. Now, number seven is very disappointing, is the Ravenna Elite Crossbowman. <clears throat> it's disappointing because this is the special unit of Attila. So if it's Attila, you would expect him to have uh, you know, much bigger units like the Dragon Cavalry, maybe. The standard historically it doesn't fit, but to give to an a in-app general the seventh unit, that's not right. Anyway, the Ravenna Elite, they're also interesting because they unlock very early in the game. You know, this based on the Byzantine Empire, <clears throat> and so they are easier to obtain than others. And still, it's a decent unit. He has a combined score of 126, but the attack is 81. The issue is again the defense. 12% additional damage, and he has also the advantage of ignoring 50% of the defenses and the mountain bonus. Then we go back to the regular. The next unit on my list is the crossbowman number eight. They have 137 score, so higher than the, uh, both the longbowman and the Ravenna elite crossbowman. But again, they don't have skills, so their attack is only 67. The regular units are more balanced attack and defense, while the mercenaries are all attack. They have a 12% damage amplifier and things in only 50% of the defenses. Number nine, and now it's the rest of the elite, the archers. Regular archers, 119 total score and 59 attack with a 10% damage amplifier. Then the mercenary Frank Axman. Let's see if we, there you go. Yeah, not a very strong. Uh, um, military gear, no weapon, no armature. The Frank Axemen, they have a score below average, 107 they combine with a 72 attack and a 6% amplifier, though they have ignoring 10% of the defense, mountain bonus, and uh, reduce the cavalry damage by 10%. Number 11, the Javelinier. That's regular. You get this unit also early in the game. Because remember, most of the units are locked. You unlock them by surpassing chapters of the campaign. So the Javelineers, they have a score of 102 with a 52 attack and 50 defense. 8% damage increase. And then we go back. It's back and forth. Unfortunately, we have, these guys are also unlocked immediately. The World Raiders. They are uh, very weak, only 92 combined, although 62 in attack, and 8% amplification. They have the skill to dodge 10% probability to dodge the attack. They are very fast in forest, so in forest troops may be useful, and uh, their attack cost is minus one. Also, as a reminder, if you haven't watched my other videos on the military units, the mercenary are the units that you can recruit in a castle, while the regular units you recruit in the city. And to unlock them, you all go into the recruit uh, screen. And here you can use the mercenary uh, draw order. You see this card there on the top, you see number three. Those cards you can buy from the shop or you gain in the mission. You can recruit one. And it's very random, the probability of which skills you get are on the right. I show you the units. And so I always re recruit 10 because in 10 I am guaranteed that I will only have, I will have at least one advanced listing. We go back to our list. So we had just down to the last of the range unit, and which is the slinger. 
Slinger is so poor that England does not even have it. You have to go to the Frankish kingdom. There you go. Slinger has an 85 combined with a 45 attack and 8% increase. Basic unit. Although, again, it's a very crappy unit, but because it's available at the beginning, you will upgrade it. If you watch some of my battles in level 2, level chapter 3, you see I'm using slingers over the better javelineers or archers because my slingers are level 3, so their skills are higher than the javelineer level 1. Keeping in mind. I think the ranking, what really matters is it allow you to choose where to spend the upgrade if one you can choose. At the beginning, you have limited choice, so upgrade what you got. Because also remember, when you upgrade soldiers, you advance in the triumphs, and you unlock those rewards. So it's important to upgrade. Plus, you accumulate so many upgrade uh, items that you wouldn't know what to do with them. Let's go now to the ranged cavalry. <clears throat> so these are archers on a horse but they're not cavalry, they count as archers. The number one, we put, may we, I put the Mamluk archers, level six unit, stellar, 160 combined score with 110 attack. That's the highest attack in all the archery. Very, very good. Defense poor, is usually 50 only. They have a 10% extra damage. They have a 65% chance of dodging. So dodging is a key skill of the ranged cavalry. The range cavalry is the same as the range infantry, best against counter infantry and melee cavalry, but a 65% dodge, that's also the highest, and also as a ignore 5% of the defense. And if there is still mobility after an attack, we recover one point of mobility. Number two, I put the elephant shooter. This unit is very good because it is unlocks earlier on in the game. So Again, it's an advanced unit. The total score is very close to the Mamluk, 159. The attack is lower, though, because the elephants tend to be better defense and slower. So it's a defense of 70, but mobility of 8. That's why I downgraded. I mean, cavalry, the key is to speed. So it's low cavalry. Doesn't work for me. 10% damage, 5% ignoring defense. That applies to every unit. No dodge, which is another reason for downgrading. But uh, elephants, they really freak out the army, so it, has a, it removes 15 points of morale to the enemy after the charge. Then at the third point, I put, at the third spot, I put the Mongolian raiders, which I assume this is the Genghis Khan uh, unit. Mongolian raiders, they have a much lower combined score, only 126. An attack of 91, though, which is uh, similar to the elephant shooters. Mobility, it's higher, it's a 10, like well, all the range cavalry of this mobility. 10% extra damage, a 55% chance of dodge, and then as uh, the standard, ignoring 5% of defense, an attack cost of minus 1. So, a good unit. Number 4, it's a regular unit. Let's see if I can find them. The feudal bow riders. Yeah, this is not easy to find. Bear with me. Most of the big nations don't have a range of cavalry. So these are, you can see them from the... Yes. Javelin riders. I think it's this one. Who is it? That's it the Byzantine Empire, the feudal bow riders. He has a total score similar to the Mongolian riders, and actually the attack is slightly better, 10% damage given, a dodge probably of 35%, so lower than the Mongolian, is the standard ignoring 5% of defense and no other skill, so that's why I put it slightly below the Mongolian rider. The next one is the Back to the mercenaries. The camel archers. The camel archers, they have a combined score of 120, with an 85 in attack and only 35 defense, 10% extra damage, 
30% dodging probability, 5% ignoring the defenses, and like the elephant, he has an impact in lowering the enemy's morale. Here is only 10 points. Then, the spot number six, I put the heavy armored assault cavalry. One of the reasons is that this unit unlocks very early in the game, so I already have it upgraded to level three, I believe, or four. <clears throat> and again, so you have a unit to start with. The combined attack defense score is 106, 71 attack, 8% extra damage, 30% dodge probability, and it reduced damage from cavalry by 10%. Number seven is a regular cavalry archers. Okay, now I want to do again the same. So let's go straight to the Byzantine Empire, unless. Yeah, most of those nations don't have range cavalry. That's bizarre. Cavalry archers, there you go. <clears throat> 101 combined score, 71 attack, like the heavy armor, the assault cavalry. Same 8% damage given, 30% dodge. I really copycat, but the heavy armor have the damage from cavalry, minus 10%, and plus they unlock earlier in the game. And the last one is the javelin riders which have a score of 81, a 56 attack, so very, very weak, and a 25 defense. 8% extra damage, 25% chance of dodging. And that concludes our range infantry review. So there are far less units in range. We have 20 units in cavalry. We have... How many is it? 21 units in range. And in the infantry, is uh, said is the largest one with the 23 units. Okay, so all together, we said you have uh, <clears throat> 64 units, which I reviewed in these three, in these three videos. So a lot of units, but in the end, you know, it, you don't have many unlocked in the first chapter, and then you'll see, depending on the available budget, you will uh, recruit as you see fit. Hope you liked this video. If you did, uh, click like, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so to support my hard work. Take care.